This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at successive ionization energies. In our first example, we'll look at how to deduce which group an element is in from its successive ionization energies. So in this table, we have values for the successive ionization energies for an unknown element. The first ionization energy is 420 kilojoules per mole. We then see a large increase to the second ionization energy which is 3,600 kilojoules per mole. We then see a gradual increase for the third and fourth ionization energy values. There is a large increase in ionization energy between the first and second ionization energy values. Therefore, the element is found in group one of the periodic table. Group one elements have one electron in the outermost energy level, which requires the least amount of energy to remove. This big increase in ionization energy is due to the fact that the second electron is removed from an energy level that's closer to the nucleus. For our next example, we'll look at the graph of the successive ionization energies for aluminium. Here we have the electron configuration of an aluminium atom, which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. We can divide this graph into three main sections, which are labeled 1, 2 and 3. These three sections correspond to the main energy levels, which are found in an atom of aluminium. We will start by looking at the three electrons in the first section. These electrons are removed from the energy level that is furthest from the nucleus. That's the one electron in the 3p sublevel and the two electrons in the 3s sublevel. Electrons in the outer energy level require less energy to remove due to the weaker electrostatic attraction from the nucleus. Next we look at the electrons in the second section. These electrons are removed from the second main energy level. So that's the six electrons in the 2p sublevel and the two electrons in the 2s sublevel. The jump between the third and fourth ionization energies is evidence of the existence of energy levels within the atom. So here we can see the larger increase in ionization energy. The first three electrons are removed from the third main energy level, whereas the next eight electrons are removed from the second main energy level. Next we look at the electrons in the third section. These electrons are being removed from the energy level that's closest to the nucleus. Electrons in the inner energy level require the most energy to remove because of the strong electrostatic attraction from the nucleus. And once again we see the larger increase in ionization energy between the electrons removed from the second main energy level and those electrons removed from the first main energy level. This provides evidence for the existence of energy levels within the atom. Next, we'll look in more detail at the fourth to the eleventh ionization energies for the aluminium atom. What is noticeable is the larger increase in ionization energy between the ninth and tenth ionization energies. So the larger increase in ionization energy between the ninth and tenth values occurs because the tenth electron is removed from the 2s sublevel which experiences a stronger electrostatic attraction from the nucleus. So these two electrons are removed from the 2s sublevel, which experiences a stronger electrostatic attraction from the nucleus. This provides evidence for the existence of sublevels within the atom.